Welcome back to Level Yourself. I am your host, Jance, alongside my beautiful lady, Liz. Hello. Hi, Jance. Hello. <laughs> How are you? How are you guys? I hope you are all doing super, super awesome after the uh, Christmas holiday. Um, yeah. So now we got to get ready for saying goodbye to 2019. Woo woo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Only a few more days to complete this year. Jeez. You know, you say it's just a few more days, and that's that time when I feel like now it's that crunch time where I need to, like, reflect on, you know, 2019 and reflect on what I want and what I see in 2020 um, before even 2020 hits, because I want to come in strong. <laughs> I'm so happy that you said that because that's what I was um, just thinking about was that first step is to self-reflect because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I really need to think about what my goals are for 2020. Um, but then knowing that I need to make sure that I think about how my energy is right now and how I feel right now and self-reflect on that before I even think about my future goals. So what do you mean by reflecting how you feel now? Like, I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, understand what you're, you're saying a little bit. So reflecting how I feel now is like, what, what is my energy like right now? How am I feeling? So for me right now, I feel like extremely grateful. Um, I feel very... I'm in a place where I am thankful, grateful, content. I feel at ease. I feel at peace. And the reflection is what is making me feel like how I am. So what is making me feel like this? And those things are things that I want to continue on. And how do I continue to be in this space? If I felt like stressed out and that's how my energy is, why am I stressed out? And those are the things for the new year and the things that I want to get out of my um, space and not continue with in 2020. So what are some of the things or feelings that I want to continue to have and how can I continue to have those? And what are the feelings that I don't like? And how do I get rid of those feelings in order to continue the feelings that are the ones that I want to move forward with? Yeah. Okay. I see. But I mean, it makes total sense. Like you don't want to carry anything that's going to pull you back to the following year. It's good. It's like you said, it's, it's reflecting on what you want to leave behind that, you know, was probably not working or, or putting you down and what you feel is going to, help you you know what you're going to carry on to 2020 so that it can just even help you get to the next level that you want to get to right things that i want to let go and things that i want to embrace or feelings that i want to let go feelings that i want to embrace yeah you know i know that 2018 i i i put together like of things that i wanted to accomplish for 20 for 2019, I put a list of things that I want to carry on for this year. And I want to go back and look at, you know, the things that I probably didn't accomplish or get to and look at why and reasons I didn't to see if I can, you know, push it on to 2020. Do I want this in 2020? And you know what? In a year, a lot of things do change. So it's, it's you know, even thinking about, do I still want this? Am I, you know, right. we'll still see this? In my future, do I still want to carry this on to the next year? So it's like reanalyzing as well, like what who who you are, what changes have you been through throughout the year that you know, and how you're going to start 2020. Mm -hmm. So that's that's also a, a thing, a good thing to reflect, like who you are now, as opposed to mm -hmm. who you were at the beginning of 2019, because. Right you know, you you can change, you can, things change throughout the year. So 
that I want to, I want to look back and see what I wrote. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be very interesting. Um, but it, you know, it, it's important for us to, regardless, like before we even start the year, we all have to try to start nice and strong. And, and obviously we want everyone to start in a positive light. Um, and setting goals is definitely going to be um, the way to go. I feel like when you set goals, you're working towards something and you're e- even more motivated, I would say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. And then we got to remember to be very realistic when we set our goals as well. You know, these we have to, I feel like when we set our goals, we have to make sure that there are goals that we can measure. There are goals that we can see. There, there are goals that we can keep track of. Um, mm-hmm. So I feel like that's something that we all need to keep in mind. What are, you, mm-hmm. what are, you, what are your thoughts on that? No, definitely. It definitely has to be measurable and achievable, realistic. It's important to... M- from the bigger goals set smaller goals to achieve the bigger goals so it's like you could come up with like a big picture goal but then set small realistic goals of how am I going to get to that big picture goal so yeah I think that's something that's really important I mean it's it's we go through so much throughout the year it's like how you're going to stay motivated um throughout the year to make sure that this, this goal of yours, you know, stays, stays put and, and keeps growing and actually happens. So, you know, if there's a couple things we, we have to think about when we're setting our goals. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, I was, I was just reading online, Liz, that um, according to like the U S news and the world report, the failure rate, there's, there's a failure rate of people that actually do accomplish their goals is an 8%. Wow. Yes. And that's this so is, low. Uh, yeah, like, that's crazy. I mean, we can definitely work on making that percentage bigger um, when we actually have realistic goals and we think about, you know, what we really want, how we're going to attain it, what's going to motivate us. Um, I think like if we set realistic goal guys, we can make it happen. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know what, I I don't know. I just feel like. (laughs) Maybe for some people, maybe for some people is not, those big picture goals are not the way to go. Maybe it's more of those smaller goals that if you do the smaller goals, they're more achievable than doing those big grand goals that it's like, how am I ever going to get to that? But if you do the little goals, maybe that's more achievable than doing those big ones. Yeah. And plan it. Like plan how you're going to make your goals happen like have a plan and and like sit there and say you know split up how it's going to happen how do you see it happen what's the easiest way you see that this goal can be accomplished so that you can understand and have a better idea of how you're going to end like 2020 accomplishing your goal i think that's going to help like having a plan is going to be important And also, I think not giving up because sometimes it's like, okay, it didn't work out. Forget it. I'm not even going to try to to do that. But trying to come up with alternatives, you know, or other ways of achieving your goals is important because there's going to be bumps in the road. And sometimes things are not going to work out the first time, but you have to keep trying and be persistent with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, like, if you really want it, stay persistent. And you said it, there's going to be bumps in the road, but you just got to keep going, you know, get up and keep going. Having someone to support you, finding, like, a support system is very important. If you can, you know, if you can find someone that can support you, you know, reach out to somebody or, you know, you can talk to people and 
and let them know, hey, you know, I'm, I'm working on this or I want that so that, you know, that person can keep you motivated and when things aren't going as planned that, you know, they can help you get back um, on the road and back on your feet so that you can attain what you want. Right. Like an accountability partner. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people now, you know, at the beginning of the year, they do vision vision boards Mm -hmm. where, you know, you basically like cut and paste, right? You, You cut and paste on the board everything that you see in the near future and even in the far future, right? Like you just put mm-hmm. everything you want. You, you put everything on it to the universe that people say, right? Yeah. So I think that's a good way to start. I mean, if some people can, if you can do that, if you can put your own little vision board together um, to always, you know, remind you of what you're like working towards and you can see, you know, you see it, it'll look Anytime you see it, it's going to say, it's going to basically reflect back on the TV. Remember this? Um, I think vision is very helpful. Yeah, one, um, I just did an activity recently with a few um, colleagues uh, and friends of mine. We had one um, sticky note that said, one thing that I want to let go of in 2019 and then the other sticky note was one thing that I want to embrace for 2020. So we kind of went around and we shared the thing that we want to let go and we shared the thing that we want to embrace. And from the thing that we want to embrace, um, that's how we're, well, that's how I am going to center my vision board around is the thing mm-hmm. that I want to embrace. Because sometimes you go to make a vision board and there's so many different types of vision boards. Like you can do relationships, career, you can do so many different things. So the vision board that I want to do is going to be based on that one thing that I want to embrace for 2020. And that's going to be the center of my vision board. And then the thing that we want to let go for 2019, we basically... We were in a restaurant where we were doing this. So on the way out, we took that sticky note from 2019 and we basically like ripped it into teeny tiny pieces and we threw it in the trash outside. Like, all right, we're letting this go. And then we're keeping just our sticky note from 2020. And that's what we're going to embrace. I love that. Yeah, it was it was cool. It was fun. And you know, it's meaningful. It It is what you make of it, right? So if it's meaningful for you, then it's meaningful. Yeah. Well, I, I, I like the whole, you know, the things that you want to let go. Um, I like that. So that, again, like you could start off strong and, you know, leave that in the past. And then the things that you can embrace. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, and for those who are not doing vision boards, like write things down. I think it's it's very important to write things down especially in a notebook where you, you go to often, um, Mm -hmm. you know, something that reminds you of, you know, what you're working towards. Um, it's very important. Yeah. And I was thinking throughout like the whole year, um, I actually found online like this really cool idea. So, you know, it was like getting a jar and either on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, something that you can like to do where you can stay consistent. Um, you know, take a little piece of paper, take a sticky note, take take something, and on that little piece of paper, write down what made you happy or you know something positive that happened to you that day, um, and then put that in in the jar. Either if it's every week or every day, and then. We'll, you'll go back to it at the end of the year and read about all the great things and that happened to you and all the great experiences that, you know, you went through throughout the year, um, which is oh. very, yeah, isn't it cool? That's a super cool idea. Like the happy jar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the happy, the happy jar. jar. We forget, we get so consumed sometimes of everything that happens throughout the year that when we look back, we don't remember these things. We don't remember the good things and, you know, what made us happy on a specific day. So it's it's always, I, I feel like that was really good to, like, actually start, 
using or, you know, having. So it can just, Mm -hmm. you know, bring you back to all the great things that really did happen. Sometimes we just remember the the bad stuff that happens throughout the year. But I feel like this jar is going to help bring out all the great things that you as a person went through or accomplished or you you witnessed. All right. That's a great idea. I like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> and we'd love to hear from you guys if you have any suggestions for um, our listeners, our followers. Um, if you have any suggestions on how to start the year strong, on even how to, if you have your own way of doing vision boards or uh, your own way of putting plans together um, for 2020, um, you know, for the next year, you know, definitely comment on our Instagram and share that with us because it's, it's going to help everyone. There's probably people out there trying to, you know, also start the year strong and we can definitely help them out. You know, I think it's, it's important for us to share all the great things that we do. Yes, please share your ideas on how you set your goals and set your intentions for the new year. We would love to hear from you. All right. Well, start thinking about that now. It's very, very important. Don't wait for the last minute. I know that January 1st, it's only another day, but it's another day for you to start strong. It'll be a day for you to start with a clean slate. Um, and start off positive, you know, with positive thoughts and whatever you put out is what comes back to you. So put out positive, think positive and, and, you know, hope for the best. Yay. Thanks, Chance. Yeah, you're welcome. (laughs) I got it. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much for following us guys. Um, and we will hear from you soon. I hope you have a great new year, New Year's Eve. Be safe. Have a great new year. We'll see you in 2020. We'll hear from you in 2020. (laughs) Yes. I don't see the flying cars, though. Where's the flying cars? I know. Sort of thing, like meet the Jetsons and stuff, you know? (laughs) I'm sure there's flying cars somewhere in in this planet. (laughs) Some planet. (laughs) <laughs> One of the planets is flying cars. <laughs> Thank you guys for following us. Thank you. Happy 2020. Happy 2020. Bye. Bye. <laughs>